Developing with the power of AI seems much more complicated than it should be. So today we're going to talk about MCP, one of the best new ways to how can you use AI to improve your productivity while developing on Visa Studio. What is MCP? MCP is not a context protocol. It is a way that your host with AI can connect with other tooling that can help you like it is outside of your current scope. So imagine that you want some documentation, access files, and even maybe access file system that you don't have access to, or you know, something that's smart that it can do functions outside of your computer and then return results. That's what MCPs allows your AI agents to do, and it's so smart. Here we have it on the protocol on Entropic's website, and you can see how easily it can work. It can connect directly for a server, which goes go to Sentry, a file system, or databases. Everything under a host, in this case, is GitHub Copilot. What are you going to do today? We're going to show you how to quickly connect with a MCP server using Visual Studio. So right here, we have the Microsoft Learn Docs. This is the MCP server that allows our official documentation to be easily accurate, authoritative, and contest aware for anything that you want to generate, questions, and some grounding to your work better with AI. Here we have our documentation on that. And you can see right here the way that you're going to install. Here's a simple JSON, and you can see right here that we have a type and the URL, which the agent, which will be case, will be GitHub Copilot, will connect to. And how to use it? Very simple. Here on our docs, you can see that we're going to select agent mode, and then you're going to add the tools that you want to use. Now, in this case, we are using for as example on the GitHub Copilot one, but we're going to use our Microsoft Docs one. Let's go to Visual Studio. We here have a simple Blazor project. And here we can see that we have the, the classic things on the components, pages, everything with a counter, a home, and weather app. Okay, but imagine that I don't know how to develop anything on Blazor. Imagine that I need want to learn more about Blazor. You can go here on solution, and then you can add our server. Please open under solution, not under your project. Add new item. Then go .mcp.json and click on Add. Now check if GitHub Copilot is available. Here you can have Agent and you can select the new GPT-5 Premium model. Here we have our tooling, which is capable to add anything that we may want to. Of course, it just has GitHub Copilot. Let's add our amazing Microsoft Docs one. Let me copy it and paste it. Don't forget to save. And just like that, we already have it working. You can see right here, you can reconnect to the MCP server and the tools it makes me available to use. He is cached because I tested this before I join. But if you created a new one, it will show new ones. Note, please have Visual Studio up to date. Sometimes they can be incomparable with previous versions of it. So make sure that you have Visual Studio up to date. And if you have the type here being Docker, please have Docker open because it allows Visual Studio to connect to a local server and then download anything it may need to you do any uh, local processing. But here is just HTTP and here is just like the quick URL to Microsoft Lord. So before we add something to it, please check if you have the tools here. Here I have fetch and search. So I can actually now go and search. So hey, I want to learn more about Blazor to do this project. What documentation should I read on Microsoft Learn to get to get like I'm gonna go upscale because it's the word of the day and develop develop it. Then you start to gather references. Copilot is now will generate a response and we'll try to get anything we need. You can see now that is asking our tooling to query about .NET Core Blazor documentation, anything of .NET 8, random modes, interop, authentication, and tutorial. We can allow this time, always allow, allow in the session or deny. Let's go with allow in the session so it doesn't ask us while we're here searching. Now it retrieved the information. And now it generated everything I need to learn for this project. So here's giving me some examples. So 
about random nodes, anything on error rendering, and much more about how can I do it with everything with Microsoft Learn. You can see right here that search on .NET, it search on Learn Microsoft, and much more. It is easy and quick to learn anything with Copilot, and even more with MCP. And remember, it's not just MCP servers that you can take a look. We have tons of MCP servers on Anthropic's amazing repo. But not only that, we also have on NuGet. NuGet now allows you to install MCP servers directly to Visual Studio. You can click here on package type, MCP server, and apply. And here we have the, the greatest new MCP servers that has focus on .NET and c -sharp. So now let's click into one example. Here we have a T-SQL script analyzer to command line tool. So I can click here, and then you can add it with an MCP server. Just copy and paste. You as well can install with the .NET tool installer right here. I hope you folks learn a lot about MCP and how to use it. You can see how you can use it from Nugget, from the everything that we have on the repo on the Tropics, on the Tropics, um, on the Cortex protocol GitHub repository. Not only that, you saw how it works a little bit, like all on the top of it, and how can you use it with Visual Studio. I hope you folks learned too much about how to use MCP with Big GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio. Thank you so much for watching this video.